might get into it. What what is the history of Bear? Okay, so let, let me get, let me let me put it in terms for, for you. I was on the phone with what we call a national negotiator for one of these big companies, um, and and, we, and they were actually handling Bear. And I said I said to this person, I said, listen, these are the same people that made a decision to create Cylon gas. They developed it. They put it on the market for 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 Germans to exterminate uh, to commit genocide. Now that wasn't that long ago. <laughs> sure. And, and do you really do you really think that the mentality and the character and the quality of that company changes that quickly over that period of time? Because the, the, look, let me let, let me give you the best example. With Bear, they had a character named Fritz Termeer. All right. Uh, hold that name. <laughs> so, so I'm in the middle of this deposition. Just it's it's a bloodbath deposition because the documents are so bad. It wasn't on C8. I mean, excuse me, it wasn't on um, Factor 8, but it was on another product. And so I get into this, <laughs> this this series of questions, and this is a woman who's there to. <clears throat> she's she's a puffer. She goes all over the world <clears throat> talking about what a wonderful company Bear is. Right. And I let, her, I let her do that as long as she wanted to. And I said, I said, well, you seem to know a lot about the company. Do you know who Fritz Tamir is? And she acted like she didn't. I knew she did. Well, no, I don't know who Fritz Tamir is. Well, so I throw up a picture, and it's a picture of Fritz Tamir. It's his, it's his it's this war crime. He's a war criminal. And he's the guy at Auschwitz that's trying to run things at Auschwitz, you know, creates, helps create the gas to kill thousands of people. And I said, well, you might want to know something about Fritz Tamir. He was at one time in management of the, 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 the early Bear Company. And so she acts like she doesn't know anything about this. And I said, and you might also, I'm, I'm curious, do you know this? Do you know that every year they have a memorial for Fritz Tamir to this day? For a Nazi war criminal. To, for a Nazi war criminal. Wow. And so, so, so here's the point. We, we look, people, we're, we're so, you know, we're living in this time of political correctness. And we're so, oh, my God, we can't generalize. Look, if you think for a second that the cultural thinking of a company changes that quickly over 60, 70 years, it's, it's nonsense. Of course it doesn't. So it just perpetuates itself. So to this, to this uh, to this day, I, I, as la last time I checked anyway, they were having a Fritz Vermeer ceremony for this war criminal.